Hey, what is up? Today I'm going to be showing you how to use Langchain to be able to query uh, a CSV file so we can ask it questions like this and we'll be able to get outputs uh, about our CSV file using OpenAI. Uh, so we're going to be using the Langchain library. I'll put a, post a link down in the description for this. Um, they have a bunch of really cool agents I recommend checking out. So today we're using their uh, CSV agent. Uh, so I downloaded this data set from uh, Kaggle. It's just uh, some data about, I believe, uh, heart disease. So it has some information about uh, sex, uh, chest pain, yeah, a bunch of stuff. So to get this set up, it's pretty simple. You just need to import uh, these. You'll also need to import OS. Uh, make sure to go to OpenAI and make your API key and we'll create an agent after we have our API key set up. Uh, we'll want to use uh, verbose equals true for now, uh, and then you'll just run it. And with uh, verbose equals true, you get to see like the each thought in the chain that's going on in the CSV file, and then the actions being made. If you just want to see the output, we can set this to false. Make sure to get this set up. So have these imports, make sure to pip install uh, langchain, and uh, you want to you have to create your API key like this as an OS uh, environment variable. Uh, paste in your API key, and then just create your agent here. And uh, and then in agent dot run, you can add in your question. So let's start off with something simple like how many columns are there? All right. So we'll run this. All right. So I just had an issue with the path being wrong. Uh, make sure your, uh, you know, your Jupyter notebook is in the same um, directory as your CSV file. It makes uh, entering the path really easy. You just put your CSV file here. All right, so we got our first output. You can see that uh, thought, I need to count number of rows, uh, action, it used uh, Python REPL ACT, uh, and then it used this command from Python, and then it got uh, 14. So have a look here, and yeah, looks like we have 14 columns. Um, all right, let's do another easy question, like how many uh, rows are there? All right, so 270 rows. Uh, all right, let's try a bit more open-ended, like tell me about this data. What is it? And what are some key insights question mark run all right so first it's using df describe it's getting the standard deviation min max all right let's see what it's going to do next um so it, all right so it's mentions it sees that it's about heart disease and okay, here's the output. This data is about heart disease and contains information about age, sex, chest pain, type, resting blood pressure, uh, fasting blood sugar, blah, blah, blah. It looks like the most inf important factors in determining heart disease are age, uh, sex, chest pain, type, resting blood pressure, serum cholesterol, and fasting blood sugar. Tell me the difference between the sexes, which one is more at risk for heart issues? Any reason why this may be? Question mark. So we have a bit more of an open-ended question. Let's see how this, it does to this. So it says, on average, males are more at risk for heart issues than females with an average of 1.54 compared to 1.23. Uh, this may be due to factors such as lifestyle, diet, and genetics. Um, all right, last thing. Um, if you don't need to see all these like thoughts and all the steps that this is this uh, Langchain agent is doing, just set verbose to false. And you see now we just get the the output. Uh, yeah, so that's it. I, I really like this uh, use case. It, it's really great for 
all sorts of CSV files. I can quickly get uh, summaries on what they are. Uh, it's a really powerful tool using Langchain combined with Open API, Open AI. Uh, thanks for watching.